Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Well, we want to welcome you to another Tuesday night Bible study. We want to congratulate all of those that is present tonight for being in the house of the Lord and those that is joining us by with different social media platforms tonight. We've been sharing some principles uh, on uh, the Great Commission, uh, but the Lord has shifted me tonight based on what the Lord spoke the last two days on the prayer line. And I received a testimony from my uh, spiritual son, Pastor Zeeshan, there in Pakistan. And uh, I want to share this tonight because of, um, of the different challenges that we face and we don't know how many times to interpret them. And sometimes we get a misinterpretation of what God is doing. And once we do that, we can never pull the revelation of the of God or the mind of God or what God has already established from the realm of the spirit into my life. How God works, ladies and gentlemen, this must become a reality. This world that you and I see was made out of uh, the invisible. So if the invisible made the visible, that means the invisible is greater than uh, the visible. And so therefore, that's why faith, you don't see it. That's why faith is so great and so powerful. And that's why God, he honors a man and a woman that walks by faith. Why? Because they are no longer dominated by this realm of their five senses. They have transcended them. It's impossible to walk by faith and you still dominated by what you see, hear, smell, taste, and feel. It will always incarcerate you. It will always bind you. And you will never experience the victory that God has already provided for you and I. The scripture cannot lie. It is real. But this realm fights us. Your greatest enemy of your faith will be what is created. What you and I see, taste, smell, feel. And the enemy will always use what you and I can see, hear, smell, taste, and feel. Because you and I are born into this world. When you were born, you were born with five senses. But when you come into out of the mother's womb, they are not fully developed. But in the process of time, they are developed. The sight, the hearing, the smell, the taste, uh, the feeling, it is developed. And what happens is uh, now we are able to relate to the creative realm and it's more real to us than anything. When you and I become born again, you and I have born again senses. There is a man that's in the man. There is a woman that's in the woman. And the woman that's in the woman is more real than the woman that I see. The man that is in the man is more real than the man that you see. This man can perish, but the man in the man can never perish. Can never perish. And so what happens is, this is one of the problems with the church. We're born, then we get born again, but we never develop the born again senses. That is why people falter. We get in fear. We, 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 uh, 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 we fret when things challenges us from this realm. And there's nothing that you and I are challenged with in this realm that the solution has not already been given before you and I was born. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 3, it says that which is born of flesh is flesh and that which is born of spirit is what? Spirit. So you and I have to be born again by the spirit. If I'm born again, safe, have Jesus Christ living on the inside of me, then I am born again by the spirit. But the problem is with the church, we never develop that man. We develop doing church stuff, but we don't develop the man that is born again. And so when things around me go haywire and challenge me, what will happen? We panic and we falter and we fail because the only thing that pleases God is what? Faith. Now faith is the what? The substance of what? things what hoped for and the evidence of things not seen in this realm 
To watch the rest of this powerful message, download Panorama's app, which is available in all app stores by searching Panorama Christian Center. Create an account to stay connected with Panorama Christian Center. One word from God will change your life. Blessings.